guys. Happy Wednesday. I'm filming this Tuesday morning. I have family coming in to town later, so I have got to get this tree done. I got up this morning. I had my coffee, got the house cleaned up. I didn't do the floors yet because I'm going to get glitter everywhere. Uh, but really, all that's left to do is this tree. And um, I have no idea where I'm going to go with this tree. All I know is I want it to be easy peasy this year. Because I'm decorating two homes, it's going to be a lot to take to put all this up and take it all down. Taking it down, I'm not looking forward to already. Just saying. And so I want this tree to go up flawlessly and easy, and I want it to come down even easier. So my way of doing this is by going in with lots of ornament garlands. These are great space fillers. So if you don't want to go crazy with tons of ornaments and ribbon, I highly recommend these. I get these at Michael's. Michael's has a great selection of ornament garlands, and I also found some on Amazon. I'll have a garland link below, so if you're looking to do something similar, have, have at it and see if you can find anything you like. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to be putting a lot of these in the tree to spare myself from having to put tons of ribbon and ornaments on this tree. So let's do this. All I want is a festive look and feel. So if you're looking for easy peasy, keep watching. So I don't know exactly how I'm gonna film this because this is a tall tree and look at that ladder. I gotta get up on that. And so, I don't know, let's just see where I go with this. I'm kind of thinking that I wanna climb up there and get the top done. Um, usually I start doing the bottom and work my way up. And then by the time I get towards the top, I'm just good and exhausted. And then it's just like, it's sort of an afterthought. So I thought I would start there, work my way around the tree. So what to do, what to do up there? I've got an idea. Okay, I decided to put a present on the top of the tree as my tree topper. Now I'm going in with these little guys and I'm going to make it whimsical. Wow, that really packed a punch and it kind of filled in underneath the present. And now I'm gonna go in with these um, picks. I only have one, two, three, I only have five. I'll try to strategically place them uh, somewhere, you know, one, like one there, one over there, you know, fill in around the top. I'm gonna go in with these now and just go around the present. Okay, now I'm going to go in up top with some gold because I'm going to be adding some gold ornaments later and this will kind of fill in the bare spots.
now. Because we've got such uh, pops of red and green up top, we're gonna string these throughout the tree. Then we're gonna go in with red and gold. It doesn't matter if you talk about it and I talk about it, yeah, we know. It's not quite how we want it. We gotta go where I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go. It's not quite how we want it. And now I'm gonna go in with the red and gold and do as many as I can to kind of fill in and then start adding ornaments, possibly ribbon and other things. Now that I have my base set, I've got all those ornament garlands in, um, tree toppers done. Now it's just a matter of going in with my large ornaments and I'm going to fill in the gaps. I also have a bunch of these gold ribbons uh, that I got from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago just to kind of dress it up and add that festive gold for the season. I may pop a few of these in as well. go in with a few of these gold picks. So I placed one going that way and then I put one down here to fill in. I laid this one on the branches this way. Oh and then I've got one up there. And now I'm going to go in with the large ornaments and fill in gaps. If you've been following me, I never, hardly ever use the ornament hangers. I literally use the branches for all my ornaments. You'll see in a moment, but I'm just going to stick a branch through here and pinch it, and it will hold my ornament. <music> some texture and some wispiness. If you guys have been following me, when we lived in our big home, I did a big Tuscan style uh, Christmas tree and I used a lot of these. So I might try to stick a few of these in because I think it, it would be really pretty. <music> gives it a little bit of an earthiness, if you will. I like it. If you wanna go the extra mile and you really want your tree to have an upscale look, get yourself some wispy uh, pine juniper picks and then take a, a pick like this, I got this at Hobby Lobby, and lay them on top of each other and then kind of spread out the branches and as you can see, it sort of makes a spray. And then do these sporadically throughout your tree. Um, and I like this too because it has the wispy branches and it really gives it a woodsy, natural, beautiful look. And I would recommend doing that first. Um, so put these in your tree exactly where you want them and then work your garland and your ornaments around it. Well, as you can see, 
my tree is now complete. As always, I start out saying I want to go simple, and what do I do? I go over the top, and I have to tell you, I decided not to put any ribbon in my tree. It is all garland, ornaments, and picks, and that's it. Lots of traditional red, green, gold, white, and I love it. And lots of glitter, lots of glitter. So anyway, if you don't want to be super duper duper creative, just get yourself some ornament garland. It's so easy to string through the tree and it really packs a pop. And I know you guys are all wanting to see the ornament uh, that my mom gave me. Uh, she purchased it at a place called Canterbury Gardens, and it was in North County, San Diego, and it was a Christmas store like you've never seen. And uh, this ornament, gosh, it's from probably 1999, maybe 2000, I can't remember. But this is the Christopher Radko ornament and it's called Santas of the World. I just love it. It's super heavy and um, it's probably lost some of its glitter from all our moves, but what a nice reminder. And I'm gonna hang it on the tree proudly. All right, friends, that's gonna wrap up my video for today. I want you guys to know that last night, I sat down for hours and I read every single comment. And I just want you guys to know that I think it is so amazing that our little community came together and shared stories of our loved ones. And I guess the takeaway is life goes on and they would want us to go on being happy. And that's the most important thing. And I'm glad I pushed through and I did my tree. I feel so much better. And now I can look at that ornament with happy memories in my head. So I highly recommend you do it. Push through, you can do it. All right, guys, um, I'm probably not gonna be back the rest of the week. Um, I'm gonna take the time to spend time with family and just relax. Uh, since I've been decorating two houses, I'm pooped. I may be back, I don't know. But uh, if you don't see me, just know I'm spending time with family. And the next time you see me, I'll most likely be back in West Virginia and we'll be back to Christmas decorating. I also wanna take this moment to remind you of Black Friday coming up. And I've been updating all my Amazon stores and I've added some new stores. So if you're in the market looking for gifts for family or gifts for yourself or your spouse or grandparents, uh, kids, I, I have it all. Um, so check it out and I will try to get those links ready for Black Friday. And don't forget for the DIYer, crafter, woodworker in your life, Xtool will be running their Black Friday deals from now until December 1st. Links will be below. All right, friends, have a wonderful and blessed Thanksgiving, and I'll see you back here soon. Mwah! Love you guys. Bye!